Let's see. Well, so you're making the point there that, you know, there are other avenues, don't we? E.B. Crossland, who says university is a coming-of-age experience and... They're ..saying that it is not a one-size-fits-all situation. And, you know, for me personally, I knew that I didn't want to just leave sixth form and go straight into employment. I wanted to go down the academic route, always. And I think that what university really offers is... Even though you're pursuing an academic degree, you can still have those variety of different avenues of um, different fields. Um, for example, um, I do an English and philosophy degree, yet I'm also a part of... So it's a university really does offer those opportunities to also dabble in different fields. This notion that, you know, you're only pursuing your degree and that's it, I think is false. You can have those opportunities irrespective of whether... I think it's a week timetable. Yeah. That's where you need to beat your lectures. Yeah. What are you going to do with the rest of your time? Yeah. And I think for my first year, like a lot of people, probably parted too much, went out yeah. too much. But then I realised, actually, I can do this. I got involved in societies. I actually started a rounded person with, with lots of experiences when really, you're there. It really is just about being proactive at university. Mm. It's about, you know, taking the bull by the horns and thinking, no, I'm not just going to pursue, you know, university just for the degree to come up with the two, one, the first, whatever. I'm going to pursue it because I want to network. It's one of the best networking places, irrespective of what university you go to. There are always going to yeah. be... Those, I, I mean... Granted, you know, the Russell Groups and the Oxbridge, they will, you know, those networking opportunities are going to be, you know, there in greater quantities, but nonetheless, you can still take those opportunities at university irrespective. Exactly where I can go and where they're going to go. You know I'm not. I'm not. There is not, there is not that I'm never going to have that certainty of, yes, I want to pursue this and I will definitely get this. But I don't think that's what matters because what matters is using those opportunities that university has to offer and using, them as, using as many as I possibly can so that, you know, I'm in the position that when I leave university, I can explore different fields or I can reject mm. a certain field because, you know, I realise that's maybe something I don't want to do. It's about gaining those skills throughout university. Mm. It's about choice when you okay. leave. Well, Kevin, from you... Is university worth it? Let's talk about when it comes to trying to access employment in the field you want to get into. Now... There's a stat around how 45% of young people don't feel confident entering the workforce after graduating. And around 80% of recruiters feel like, you know, land a role in, in their job of interest. And I think that's really important to understand that university, for many students, including myself, don't really on soft skills that employers look for. And for, for in terms of the work that... Mm. I, I do worry, though, you know, we were saying it's going as far as you're doing what you're doing. What you're doing English in, 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 are you worried, though, that there's no guarantee of a job at the end of it? Or, do you, or, or are you confident that, you know what? Yeah. I, I... Afterwards. Yes, I am. I, it's one of those things where that does cross my mind uh, a lot. Um, I will be left with a lot of debt at the end of this. It will, the thing is, I don't also know what salary I'll be on. That is the thing. I don't know what salary I'll be earning, mm. how much I will have to pay back. That is still so open-ended. You know, if I'm a high-income earner, less for me. Um, if I'm a low-income earner, those problems also are less of a problem because I wouldn't have to pay them back, but it is going to hit those middle-income earners. You know, it's going to really be a problem for the people that are earning, okay. you know, over 25k, about 38k a year. So, yes, it is something that I do concern myself with, okay. but I just right. know... Yeah. Good luck to you. I've got a feeling you're going to cross them, Evie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Evie, thanks for dressing, and there's a reason behind that. You know, people are graduating and still not able to access employment. That's part of the reason why I started the work that I do. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of friends who graduated uh, and were struggling to get jobs, and, yeah. you know, it's... it's